are celebrating the opening of Mother Earth Brewing. This building and the bottling facility and the storage facility were all three separate buildings. We actually combined and made them all into one. Heritage Street has, has become one of the streets that is becoming revitalized. So we took this street and North Street and, and put a cornerstone in the community. And then with our tap room and then all the way um, down to the other street, uh, we were able to basically take a whole block and turn into one company. Everything we did was eco-friendly. Um, our tap room, which is two doors down, um, is 100% powered by solar. All our insulation in these walls is made with 100% recycled blue jeans. You know, we did uh, soy-based um, uh, spray insulation. Anywhere we had to have roofs or uh, insulation, we had that. Mother Earth just has a special touch to it. Um, they use local farmers. The cows eat the, this grain, my cows. It goes in my garden. Then I grow my vegetables and tomatoes and everything off of that organically. I eat them. It's just a cycle. We used our glyco chiller uh, to chill our walk-in as well as our tanks versus having two refrigerating units. And that way we were able to save more energy that way. And that's just basically what it's all about. We have four stable beers right now. We will have uh, seasonals throughout the year. We will also have some high gravity barrel aged beers, which a lot of breweries are starting to get into. We just had our whiskey and Pinot Noir barrels show up. So we'll start to do like 9, 10, 11% beers and age them in those barrels. So seasonally, um, we're kind of fun to, to tinker with some of those beers and come out on a small uh, you know, production scale for those. Did a Weeping Willow Wit, which is a Belgian wit beer, which seems to be the most popular as of right now. It's a beer I drink. We have Endless River, which is a Kolsch. Uh, we have Dark Cloud, which is our Munich Dunkel, which is a dark, but it's a light beer. It's a light tasting beer. And then we have our IPA, which is Sisters of the Moon. And on the label, you have three girls dancing around the fire pit, which just happened to be my daughters. When Trent and Steven and I sat down and tried to figure out what we wanted, we figured out beers that we liked, uh, beers that aren't out in North Carolina as a whole. Like, it'd be really hard pressed to be able to find a Munich Dunkel that anybody brews in North Carolina, let alone the United States. Craft beer is just something that all craft brewers, we're, we're all like, together and we all are competing with each other against the Budweiser's, against the Coors, against the, um, the Millers. And what we really want to do is we want to educate uh, other people on good beer. What we're trying to do is we're trying to let people know what real beer tastes like. Out of all the beer that's sold in the world, craft beer is 5% and Bud Miller Coors and everybody else owns all the rest. So that should be able to put it in perspective of how small we really are. There are so many different flavors that you can come up with in a beer. And I think that with Josh and Trent, and we've come up with a beer that we all, we all love.
in the closet of supersonic gin and I, I generally lean towards IPAs, hoppy and bitter, but I do drink a lot of the Endless River, which is our Kolsch, for something crisp and refreshing. But I love the heck out of our Belgian wit beer. They're, you know, they're all they're all great beers and uh, very drinkable, and the design's great too. So I think it's going to be a success. And I've tried all four today, and Endless River's one of those that, that I can stick with for sure. Welcome. Thank you for coming because it's been a long time coming. Have fun, drink beer. We love Mother Earth. I want to introduce you to the man who is behind all the brewery. And yes, his name is Brewery. This is Josh Brewery. I'm the man behind the beer. If anybody has any complaints, you can tell Stephen. Any good things, you can come see me. I want to thank you again for coming out here and being with us today. It's a big day for us. On one, two, three, we'll do Mother Earth. One, two, three. Mother Earth! Cheers. First of all, I don't really even know what to say. I stood here eight months ago and I made this announcement that Mother Earth was coming to Kenton and I looked around and I was like, huh? Now I look around and I'm like, yes, sir. Thank everybody for being here with supporters. It's just freaking awesome. So anyway, and, and, and I want to thank Josh. I mean, the, the beer that he makes goes down so smoothly. If we didn't have him, it wouldn't be this good. Whatever. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great time today. And I get to say something I've been wanting to say since I was in the seventh grade. And that is, all the way from Raleigh, it's the freaking Connells and Pistons. We've never had anything like this around Kenston. They've done a great job renovating this old building and it's really brought it to life and I think it's going to be a really special place for downtown Kenston. I think this is a pretty good promotion they've done today. They've uh, opened this place to the public. They're letting you sample and they've really got some very good beers. I think there's something here that'll be pleasing to you. And it's, uh, it just shows the beer lovers, you know, coming out and enjoying it. Yeah, great beer. Um, great family business as well in, in Eastern North Carolina. Yeah, it's, it's, just a, it's a great place to run a business as well. Things are going to have a big impact once we start getting months behind us and years behind us and maybe you know some other other businesses will start to grow and open up. I think we'll get pretty big with tours, believe it or not. I mean, I, there's a lot of breweries in North Carolina, in South Carolina, in Georgia, that uh, comes, you know, Friday and Saturday in the evenings. They've got 30, 40, 50, 80 people at a brew tour. Mother Earth, you know, brings a ton of people here. You can, you know, look around today. There's, there's a bunch of people here today. Um, everybody coming out for a good cause. Get a lot of activity downtown. To be able to bring that many people at a given time on a given day, they're doing something than just coming on a brew tour in downtown Kinston. So I, I think we would be, you know, a fairly decent draw a few days a week uh, for, for Kinston as a whole. We've got us a little microbrewery now, and I hope. It helped with downtown and just uh, put Kinston on the map as a, having a good beer. Craft beer, Eastern North Carolina, making a product that's close to home, really what we believe in, and getting it out to the marketplace. And this is the start of getting it out to the marketplace.